everyone, it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to another little unboxing video. So this is a package that's been sent to me from um, the lovely folks over at um, New Craft Day. I've done quite a lot of unboxings for New Craft Day. I love their products. Um, I love their customer service as well. They're just really a really good company to deal with. Um, the amount of feedback that I've given them on the products and um, website and stuff like that, they're taking it on board um, and they actually listen. So let's see what we've got in today's parcel um so i have opened it just to see who this is from because i've got a few pr packages floating around so let's get these bits and bobs out of the bag so i have a diamond painting and i have a larger one and i have a special one so let's move the crinkly bag out of the way so let's take a look at this first of all so these are all new products on their website um so I am a huge Disney fan and so when I saw these, just get it out of the packet, um, I thought oh, I'll give this one a go. Now I've not done, um, I've not done any key rings or anything like that so this is super exciting for me um, and they've got these Mickey ones or Mickey inspired should I say, let's not call it Mickey Mouse or Disney shall we. Um, so we have a little Mickey um, and they are double-sided as well, I think. Are they? Let me see. Peel the plastic. Yep, yeah, that's sticky, that side. They've got the... Um, they've got the little... Um, the letters and stuff on both sides, so presumably... Yep, they're, they're sticky both sides. Now, once these are done, they are going to need sealing. So I've got some sealer here. Um, I believe New Craft Day might actually offer sealer as well. Um, so yeah, we have a Mickey and a Mini and a Mini and another Mini and another Mickey. So we've got five little Mickey and Mini um, keychains to um, add my drills to. So you also get the... Uh, the keychains to add them on as well so these are you get um the, it's all in gold so lobster claw um clasp um and then you have one of the the chains so that just goes through the loop um to attach it like so and it's just you clip it on and then you add your chain on and these are fun to add to anything like bags or even as a um, like a dangle charm on a planner or anything like that. So yeah, there's the chains and the clasps in there. Then you get a basic toolkit, and then let's take a look at the drills that you get with this. So I think they might all be crystal. Let me see. Let's get these out. Now I don't do many special projects, so um, this was something new for me as well. So we have a just a silver crystal a red um, that is a standard 310 black i think um it doesn't say doesn't say it on there 16 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, it doesn't say it on there what there's no codes or anything on there are codes but i don't know what they correspond to so um yeah i can't i can't tell you whether they've got dmc codes that doesn't say 310 but it definitely looks like a, a 310 black um then we have moving on then we have this kind of really pale yellowy green color um that's exciting to see where that's going to go i assume that's the face color m yes it is then we have a pink and like a golden yellow and then there's some flat back um kind of pearls there as well and then some um, faceted round red ones too. That is V. So that's going to go into Minnie's bow there and Minnie's bow there. You get quite a few and you only need four because you'll need two for the other side as well. So those are the gems. So this is going to be exciting. And this is going to be a really quick, easy little project. Um, great fun for kids as well. So obviously supervised with the small, uh, the small drills and stuff. But... Um, I will pop up a price on screen for these as they were when um, when I ordered them. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to um, give these a go because I've not done any keychains or anything like that. So thank you to New Craft Day for sending those over. 
We'll have a look at this one. So then I got two diamond paintings. As I said, these are both in their new section. Um, so let's take a look at this one. Now, this one is a 30 by 50. Let's get it in shot. So let's have a look at this one here. And as I said, I am a huge Disney fan. So anything Disney inspired, I'm all over. So this one here is Snow White. I'm going to pull this plastic back. These canvases are pretty standard when it comes to um, the budget friendly companies. They all feel pretty much the same. It's not one of the rigid ones. Um, some of the ones that I've had have been quite um, quite firm. It's still got a lot of um, fluidity. That's probably a good word. Fluidity in the canvas. Um, so it's nice and flexible still. I'm just going to get this um, cover sheet back down just to straighten out the canvas so I can best show you this. Okay, here we are. So this isn't going to be all the way in shot because my camera will not pick that all up, but you can see um, the gist of it. So we have Snow White in the forest um, with an apple. Now, I don't know how this is going to come out because it is only 30 inches, 30 centimetres wide, not 30 inches wide. It's only 30 centimetres wide and then it's probably not even that. Let me grab my, um, no, that's my cutter. Let me grab my tape measure. Um, I would imagine it's probably 24, 25. So it is 25, just under 25 centimetres. So I always get concerned with the, the narrower ones, um, just purely because of the, um, the clarity of the, um, the painting. And then it's just under, it's, yeah, just under 45. So you're losing about five centimetres um, either way, which is pretty normal for the budget friendly um, kits. So yeah, this one is Snow White. Um, it shouldn't take too long. It's a 30 by 50. There's quite a lot of colour blocking as well. So not too much confetti going on. There's 22 colours in this, all with DMC codes. Nice and sticky um, canvas, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get this one. I'm always excited to get a canvas done, to be honest. You get your standard toolkit um, in there as well. That can just go on the um, ever-growing pile of eternal toolkits. Let's take a look at the drills. Now, one thing that I have fed back to New Craft Day is about these blasted 200 packets of drills now it doesn't oh random okay so 21 actually comes in a in a, in a zippy bag but all of the others come in the 200 packs i'm not going to show you. you can see the drills here i'm not going to lift them up and show you because they're just a nightmare to deal with i had fed it back to them i know it's probably not their choice it's just the manufacturers that, that they get the drills in from um or the kits in from but i have fed this back to them about the 200 packs saying that you know as diamond painters we much prefer um, to have the zip bags or even the heat sealed bags so yeah that has gone gone across to them um, and we'll see what happens going forward but like I said they're brilliant because they listen to the feedback um, and whenever I go back and say you know I've from my PR pass or, or, or feedback from um, your viewers on YouTube they always want the feedback they always listen to the feedback so they're brilliant from that respect so yeah not the best news in terms of the 200 packs not as bad as the last one that I had that I had like 25 bags of the same color um, in these instances what I do with these is I actually um, prep in advance so I'll get these out of the 200 packs and I'll actually move them into zip bags um, so when I actually come to do the painting I don't have to mess around with the little 200 bags um, that will sometimes maybe put me off of doing it there and then or we've got a stray little purple drill there move that out of the way so anyway it's not going to put me off this is round drill sorry it's not going to put me off doing it um but it is going to make me conscious of um doing prepping this in advance now these drills do not have the um code for the canvas on so all i do in this instance is just grab um grab a piece of paper or cardstock whatever you've got to hand and then i'll pop the Q, Q, six, six, six. Now, 
one of my favourite red colours, that 666. So I'm going to pop those back in there. Now, these do end up in um, the the bags, the the weatherproof, weatherproof, the waterproof bags. Um, but I'm out of those right now. I'm not buying any more because um, otherwise it's just encouraging me to add to my stash. So um, I need to get through a few paintings so I can start putting these into um, into the zip bags and that, those are featured in other videos as well so I won't um, I won't show you those now but yeah overall I'm fairly impressed we'll see how the rendering comes out on this it looks fairly good on the camera um, but obviously we never know until we start actually completing the painting so um, another one that I'm excited to get started on so uh, it's 30 by 50 but I don't think it's really going to take that long it's obviously not much bigger than a 30 by 40 so then we have this one. This one is a 40 by 70. So, oh yes, I remember what this one is now. Okay, let's get this one out. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is also going to be little packs of drills. Um, we'll see. So, let's take a look at this. This one's a little more rigid, this canvas. So, I definitely think this is from a different company. Can you see, before I roll this back, can you see the theme of this one? It's a Simpsons themed one. Oh my goodness, I've not done, so any of the inspired ones, I'm going to call them inspired, um, any of the inspired ones um, I would, um, I would say that I've only probably done kind of Disney ones. Um, Hubby's done Star Wars I've got, I've got a Gremlins one um, but I've not done any Simpsons ones now I'm not I love the Simpsons I'm not a an avid fan as in I don't watch it every day um, but we quite often when there's nothing else on TV we quite often just have it on um, in the background so let's straighten this cover sheet out because it has taken a little bit of a battering during shipping by the looks of things um very crinkly this one so here we have let me pan from the top so we have crusty land so here is the little thumbnail we're probably really going to struggle to see that but hopefully i won't zoom in too close because you'll just pick up the texture from the canvas so here is the top and panning down we have Krusty himself. And I'm super excited for this one. Um, I love a theme park. And so, um, and I've not done any theme park paintings. I've got to look for some more. Um, so I, yeah, I love, I just love this. Um, it's 40 by 70. I don't think it's going to be looking at how big uh, these borders are on the side um what do we reckon 35 no less than that sorry yeah it's just under 32 so actually although it's advertised as a 40 it's actually less than 32 wide let's see what it is lengthway oh sorry height wise um it does look like we're going to lose quite a lot on the height as well going to do this so the canvas actually lays flat just under 63 so we are losing quite a lot um, of that height and the width because of the border but that's okay it's still a bigger painting than a 30 by 40 so in total there are 29 colors for this canvas no issue with the stick on there at all um, and let's take a look at the drills. So standard toolkit, as always, the uh, the pen, the tray and the wax. Yes, we have 200 bags. As I said, I fed this back to them to see if there's anything. I know they're not the only ones that have the, the little 200 bags, um, but I have fed it back to them and they are listening. So, um, you know, hopefully we might see some changes going forward. But Let's take a look. I'm not going to show you again all of the drills because they are the 200 packs, but I am going to just show you a pan of the colours. So we have, naturally, we've got some green in here for the foliage. Foliage, all the greenery areas. Um, we've got some peaches and some pinks and some purples, blues, some more greens, some grey, 
some, I don't know what colour you'd call that, but like a, a dirty yellow, <laughs> I don't know, uh, some uh, kind of orangey colours. Yeah, so um, this should be fun. I can see that there are some spilt drills um, in here, so there might be a little bit of a... Uh, okay, I can see what's happened. This pack here, 834, it's not been sealed properly, and so they've just kind of, they've gone... I say they've gone everywhere. There's only a few in the bottom here. Um, I've got spare drills, so I'm hoping that I've got, if I need them, that I've got some um, I've got some in my stash already that um, I wouldn't need to worry about it. To be fair, you normally get more than you need anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but if it is, then I can always reach out to New Craft Day and let them know. Um, but... Those are the drills. I see we've got a couple of loose ones here. Those have come from the bottom of the packet. That is why I use the zip bags um, to capture anything that's loose. Um, just pop those in my trash bin. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much to New Craft Day for um, sending me these new products. Um, as I said, I've got a Snow White inspired and a Simpsons Krusty Land inspired one. And then I've got the um, Mickey and Minnie inspired key rings to do. So it should be a lot of fun to um, get cracking, especially really excited for these ones just because they're fun, small little projects um, to be able to complete. So thank you very much for joining me for today's unboxing. Um, if you've enjoyed the unboxing videos, please, as always, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you are notified each and every time I upload a video. Um, and anything you have um, feedback wise, or if you just want to say hello, drop that in the comment section down below and i'll see you all again next time bye